I absolutely love finding website features, like this menu design from DNA Capital, that are not only impressively elegant in appearance, but incredibly simple to recreate. As per usual, we'll begin with a div, and then one inside that to contain four links. Our menu needs to fill the viewport and have a display of flex so we can align the items vertically in the center. Let's set our link color to white, increase the font size, and apply a better font family. We'll stack them on top of each other with a display of block, remove the underlines, and space them more appropriately with some padding and margin. The first step to fancifying our menu is getting the inactive links to fade out on hover. Let's reduce the opacity of all the links when our menu is hovered, then override this change for the currently hovered link by setting its opacity back to one. Next, we'll need some sort of pattern or image in the background that we can pan vertically as we hover our links. Let's add another div inside of our menu called background pattern. We can easily create a dotted grid pattern by using a radial gradient background image with a position of zero and a background size relative to the minimum dimension of the viewport. Since we want it to sit behind our menu items, let's position it absolutely and adjust the Z indices accordingly. The first step to animating our pattern will occur when we hover any of the links. Let's reduce the pattern's background size just slightly and bring down the opacity as well remembering to set a transition time on these properties so they change smoothly. Next, we need a way to pan the pattern up and down as we hover over each of our links. One thing to note here is that instead of returning the pattern to its default position when our mouse moves away, we need it to retain its current position. Moving over to our JavaScript, let's begin by selecting our menu element. We can then select our menu items and convert them to an array so they become iterable. Let's append a mouse move listener to each item and use them to update an active index data attribute on our menu element. We can now use this data attribute in our CSS to shift the pattern's position accordingly. Now, as is, the effect we've achieved is pretty cool, but really, I think we can do even better. What if we added another div for a background image? We could add a fitting image from Unsplash and then position it absolutely behind everything else. How about we increase the default background size to 110 Vmax and reduce the default opacity to 0.15? When we hover, we'll bring down the opacity just a touch and reduce the size as well. Just like our background pattern, we can increment the background position based on the active index. By ensuring the increment value is different from our background pattern, we just so happen to get a parallax effect completely free of charge. With all of this in place, I think it's safe to say we've created a pretty immersive website menu that is sure to wow even the most reluctant of users. Let me know how you think I did in the comments, and I hope to see you in the next one.